Right, we're going to do a quick walk around it. Why are you winking right. at the camera? I'm not winking. Right, we're going to do a quick walk around the van. It's almost done. We've got a few wee bits to finish off, but it's almost there. So let's take a wee look around. Right, the van's almost done, so we're going to take a wee walk around and I'll show you a few of the things we've added to it. Uh, it's a 1998 uh, Fiat Scudo 1.9 turbo diesel. Uh, now we got it for quite a good price uh, because it only had a week's MOT on it. Uh, we got all the stuff fixed on the for the MOT. Uh, fortunately it was all stuff we could do ourselves. Uh, we didn't have to pay the guys to do any work on it at all really, other than the MOT itself. So it's now got a full year's MOT. Uh, other than the MOT, we serviced it, uh, all the fluids have been changed, uh, I replaced a couple of the brake pipes. Um, what else did I do? Uh, for the MOT, uh, we did the brake pipes at the front, uh, that was the, kind of the main thing that was going to fail on. Uh, other than that, it was mechanically quite sound. Uh, we looked up the uh, M previous MOTs to see what uh, advisories were on the previous year, and the brake pipes were the main one. Uh, so we knew there wasn't going to be a huge amount on it, and sure enough there wasn't. Uh, externally, uh, not really done much with it, it's still pretty much a standard van. Uh, we've just painted the wheels up because they were looking a wee bit scabby. Uh, we've replaced all the door locks because some of the, door, the barrels were starting to go in them, uh, and we could only lock one of the, door, one of the doors. Uh, we've also replaced the door handle on the other side. Uh, it just it was snapped, obviously somebody tried to open it before and managed to break it. Uh, one other thing we've done is add the roof rack. Uh, See, so we've got a lot of stuff to go camping and we don't want to have everything piled into the back of the van if it's been soaking wet, so that'll keep everything dry. Uh, we'll take a wee look inside uh, and we'll show you what's in there. What about Julie? Yeah. Julie's going to do this bit. She's in charge of the interior stuff. Basically, when we got the van, it had been a builder's van, so it was in a pretty sorry state. It got brushed out, it got scrubbed out, and then we lined everything with the cheaper version of Reflectix. Next job was to do the carboling. We bought the four-way stretch um, liner carboling for cars. It's not four-way stretch. I agree with everyone who struggles with it. It goes its own way. Um, we also decided that a small amount of storage it is a small van, but a small amount of storage would be a helpful thing. So Martin constructed a frame and some doors. Um, they're drop down doors and it also means that when the bed is fully open that you can get your hand slid in to get whatever bits and pieces you need. They're small, but it's surprising how much stuff you can get into them. I fab on the inside of it, um, just that if there are any spillages that they are easily cleaned up and maintained. The top is MDF with pine tongue and groove panelling on top. I was inspired by various YouTube videos and I melted crayon into routered out shapes um, and then yacht varnished the whole thing to give it a wee bit of durability. Um, there's more than enough space for a one ring cooker or a two ring for that matter. Um, and the little dog bowl that I transformed with some spray paint um, into what is big enough for a wash bowl for us. This little addition, a home bargain special, was not very expensive. My first attempt at macrame was not very successful, but it does the job and it will give it strength and it obviously is the perfect height for dropping over the bowl. In the bowl I just keep all my cleaning bits and pieces and a really handy camping tool. Bring some pegs with you. We didn't the first time we went away and I'm really sorry about that. Little cheap shower bottles that you get for air lines going on holiday. That'll do the washing up liquid. I don't plan to be doing that much washing up anyway so that should do us for the week. After the floor was done uh, we thought we'd do the bed. Uh, we decided to go for a, a slide out bed because it gives us a bit more space in the van when there's only one person in it or if we're just sitting about. 
Uh, straightforward, uh, Joey's made up some cushions for it and they're just velcroed onto the top so they don't slide around when moving. Uh, the whole bed just slides out and we have two sets of cushions. One's this one here and we have the back cushion which is the backrest we are sitting down and they slide out gives you a double bed. Uh, we've got the ottoman here at the same height as the bed uh, so that it gives you the, the extra, extra length because it's only about, it's about four and a half feet, four feet yeah. the length of the actual seat so that just gives it the rest. We're both short so five and a half feet is plenty for us. Maybe not five and a half. Five foot eight? Five foot eight is fine for us. With his arms in the air? I'm five foot eight! Okay. Right, uh, <laughs> The base of each mattress is thin plywood. On top of that, I have put a three inch um, thick foam, a Dunellum basic foam. There's nothing fancy about it. And basically then covered it. When the bed is in motion, the first week uh, the mattress was moving about. So I got extra strong Velcro and that's what holds it in place when we're driving. Another um, advantage with having an engineer in the house is that he was able to do the electrics and we have various switches, a voltage meter um, and chargers in these little um, sectioned off units. It means at night you can charge your phone or put a book in there or whatever you want, bottle of water and they're easily accessible when you're in the bed. It also gives security because obviously when the bed is made up as the day chair um, this is completely blocked off so if there's something that you just want to put out of sight um, it can go in there and no one's going to know you have it. The back pocket is quite a good depth and be good for things like walking poles. We do have our um, privacy sheets for the back window but as you can see it goes down a good distance. Okay, um, what we didn't mention um, was the extension to our very short bed, which makes it the perfect length for sleeping. It's an old ottoman I have had up on the roof space for a while. I again covered it with the three inch foam. I wallpapered the sides and gave it a good coating of yacht varnish to make it strong. The advantage of this is it's like a TARDIS for storage. It is so so Tardisy. Tardisy. So Tardisy. It's Tardisy. Like I say, the ottoman has absolutely oodles of space inside. I need to take a serious amount of stuff on a daily basis for my work and it fits everything. Um, I imagine every piece of bedding and dog supplies are going to fit in this when we go away. I also covered the bottom in the same black stretch car liner. Uh, basically because this ottoman will be moved in transit. It'll be at the back of the van. If we're sleeping on it or sitting on it, it's more than likely going to be at the front of the van. And the fabric gives it a nice sort of glide when you're trying to move it and it doesn't damage the floor, which is quite important. As well as the 12 volt socket we have next to the bed uh, and the USB ports, uh, I stuck another 12 volt socket and a couple of USB ports here. Just another waterproof caps. Uh, just to give us somewhere to charge at this side of the van. Uh, the what? As Julie mentioned, we didn't want the van getting too wet inside because, as you can see, we're in Scotland and it's a wee bit damp. So, hence the lino floor and uh, waterproof shelves and uh, waterproof everything really, and keeping other wet stuff on the roof. It's got a lot of stuff on the roof. Obviously, in a van like this, there's not a separate cab, so we need some level of privacy in the evenings or if we're sitting in the back. Um, and I basically made some curtains. They, they're just held up with the same kind of wire that holds up net curtains. There's quite a lot of length at the bottom, just so that they can be tucked in wherever we need them tucked in. Obviously, privacy at the back was required as well so um, I made up these the shape of the windows we have reflectix in the middle and um, this side is a fabric to match the front curtains and this side is just old black shower curtain because uh, the handy thing with that is 
at night time it's just going to look like black windows no no one's going to say it'll look like a dark van so basically they fit into the window like this i have attached magnets on each side um this is the first time we've put this up and it's really dark in here this worked um th th this is maybe a good thing to talk about lights yes yeah uh, as well as like usb sockets and such like uh, we've got uh, two small sets of strip lights at the sides julie what i can see what i'm doing yeah uh, small strip lights at the side nice ambient mood lighting uh, and we've got a switch on the roof with another led light that lights up the cooker area we have Julie. a switch on the ceiling which lights up on the, the cooker area yeah, on, the, on the ceiling so it's the roof on the ceiling it's the top it's a roof so it, it's perfectly positioned obviously for the cooker um actually this is the first time we've been in the van when it's been like closed up and the lights on and this is actually quite pleasant in here Quite true. I, I, I quite like. I've decided I like this one. This, yeah, this is actually. Yeah. I think we can call this a success. I've done a bad job. It was important for us to have a van that we would feel comfortable with. Um, Martin, with his skills, has made the cupboards, the bed, he tongue and grooved the ceiling, the walls, everywhere else. Um, the electrics were all down to him um, we have lights we have charging you name it he was able to make it um, my passion is crafts and I have pyrography on the ceilings and on the door panels like I said I've done the writing and um, the wax candle, candle melting I'm really impressed by this file. I'm actually quite sweet, speechless. It's the first time Martin and I have sat in here and it really, really works and it's really going to work for us. I'll just show you just how accurate my measurements are. There's the, the cooker. Watch this. Look, at, look how precise that fits in there. <laughs> you weren't so accurate with the water bottle. <laughs> you made it the wrong shape. That's precision workmanship, that is. Oh, my, my dog bone handles. Here it is. Another thing I thought was worth doing is putting some skateboard grip tape on the back panel. It just makes it easier if we're getting up, up on the roof because obviously it's going to have stuff on it. Uh, there's also a wee bit more storage under the bed. Uh, this one that Joy's done a pyrography on. Uh, just a wee sto storage there. I'll probably use that for just storing a couple of five litre water jugs uh, so we'll get plenty of this for the dogs. Uh, under the bed, there's a couple of storage boxes as well. Uh, so there's plenty of under, under bed storage as well. Got a couple of storage containers there. Uh, so they can just be pulled out easy enough. Uh, also under the bed, we have the 110 amp hour battery uh, and all the electrics and the fuse boxes. Now this bit's not completely finished, but it's, it's ready for going away. Uh, I've just set up a little fuse box, some wiring going into there. The, the battery sits in there that can be accessed from the front panel. And uh, I've got a switch here that is hooked up to the splash tarp charge relay, which means we can turn the, the well, manually turn the relay on and off if we need to. Uh, I just thought it would be latch on there so it doesn't swing open and get caught in the door. Uh, we probably won't be using this door very often because there's the, the ottoman in the way and the bed. And of course, Julie's been really useful and put a pocket on the back of the bed so that if we're at this end of the van, we get somewhere to store stuff. Haven't we? Storage first priority. I thought it was safety first priority. I'm not rushing. Storage first priority. Okay. Uh, there's a few wee things I've done in the cab. Is that a cab? It's not really a big enough van to have a cab. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the front, right, we're going to show you the front. In the front, we laid down some carpet. Previous videos have shown us changing the gear sock and the gear knob. We did find one design flaw with the Scudo. The drink holders and the doors, 
they don't fit anything but the finest thinnest bottles so we had some scrap wood and more of my favorite stretch card material um, and we decided to make this beast um, the dogs stay in the back and there's only Martin and I in the front so this is pretty much our console we have a wee hollowed out part for flat items or phones if they're charging um, Martin has made drink holders for our many drinks we have a deeper um, box at the back that can hold maps or books or he's got all sorts of camera gear fired in it currently and on top of that we have some net and um, a zip pocket which is actually insulated which will be handy if we're on a long drive or we're, we're you know traveling for distances that we do have absolutely everything sitting in between us for the whole journey also <laughs> storage first priority <laughs> thought it might be an idea to whack away hole into this there's not a great amount of space but there's enough space that we can stuff coats or cardigans or sweatshirts or whatever in here um, and they're easily accessible if we're looking to jump out of the car to film or um, see something I think it's a great idea and I think he did very well Martin Is that a compliment? Yeah you're allowed one I just got a compliment What do you want? You know after something? I'm aware how much tweed there is for sale when we go on our next no, adventure. Right. Yeah. We also replaced the stereo. It was a basic, um, was it a Fate stereo or yeah, what kind of, feet, it yeah. was pretty standardly crap. It had a cassette player. We don't have any cassettes. Half the people watching this won't know what a cassette is, but hey ho. Um, so we did um change it out for one of these guys which is absolutely great because there are two usb charging sockets um there's a little hole there for your micro sd micro sd and um, there's there's even um auxiliary on the auxiliary thing for your like things that have headphone holes in them what is it the headphone socket do you have no jack what he said i don't know why you asked me to do this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. we both like music and we both like to drown each other out occasionally and music's the best way of doing it and it lights up really cool if i have ignition but I don't know. oh yeah it's purple it's, it's, it's whatever color you want i'd choose purple because i like purple We've also fitted a dash cam on the van. Not only is that good for extra driving footage, but it's also good for reducing insurance costs and showing who's liable when there's an accident. Uh, the Scoodle does have plenty of its own storage. Um, there's a big, big shelf above the seat and it's, it's a really good sturdy shelf. I'm thinking possibly not for this trip, but in the future, I'll get some um, boxes made when I say I'll get them made I'll make them um, and run them along there and they can sort of hold camera gear or maps or shoes or whatever we fancy. Underneath the seats in the Scudo and in between the seats in the Scudo was great as well and um, there's plenty of room for tool bags and just the, the general bits and pieces puncture repair kits stuff that you've got you, you need when you're out and about. The vinyl is from a company called Vinyl Frog, which I would thoroughly recommend. I have used it for various indoor projects, but this is specifically outdoor vinyl, and I, I really do like the quality of it. Well, that's the final walk round. Uh, if you get any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and we'll get back to you. Uh, oh, that's how you do a self built camper van. Very please quickly. Please like and subscribe. Yep, please and like and subscribe. And then you can catch us wherever we take this van. Where are we going?
for the youth, so okay. I'm going to the youth. Would you like to come? Can I? Oh, okay. Can I get a sleep in the van or have I got you the tent? <laughs>